Hi, this is Deborah Fran Baker, otherwise known as Mama, Mama Deb, and um, this is a blog. There will be some planning in it, I promise. One suggestion I had for um, making this a bit more interesting was just to talk about something that interested me. So, my entire life has pretty much been defined by science fiction conventions, especially in my married life. This past weekend, my husband and I celebrated our 30th anniversary of meeting, at a science, which was at a science fiction convention in Philadelphia. It's called Philcon. Now, different hotel, because uh, the fan-run science fiction conventions I attend are in hotels. Different hotel and different weekend, but still the same convention. I do emphasize it's a fan-run convention. It, everybody who runs it is a volunteer. Uh, nobody gets paid. The, the hope is to break even by selling memberships. Not tickets, memberships, but that's the hope. We do not care if, uh, it's a non-profit, but if we do earn money, it goes into the next convention. I say we, I say we, even though I did not currently work in this convention, I am friends with a lot of the committee, but I have in fact run conventions myself in one capacity or another, including as rather disastrously chair, so, uh, by we, I mean those of us who run conventions. They're nonprofits. We put We put the money into the next convention. Comic Con, which is probably the convention you think of. People love them. They're wonderful. They're there to make money. They make money for the vendors. They're there to make money for, the, uh, for themselves, for the venues. They're there to make money, but they also provide a service because the people who go there really, really enjoy themselves. It's what they want. And it's, and it's good. Nothing wrong with this. We do have cosplay. We do have costumes, which are slightly different. Not very. Uh, a, co a science fiction convention of the type I attend, which uh, a general one like I just went to, or can be specialized. The one I ran was about, mu was about the music. There are others about gaming, others about costuming. There's even a um, convention about running conventions. <laughs> So they can be really specialized, or they can be like the one I just attended, general, with everything. But even they are focused mostly on the books. The books of science fiction and fantasy and horror. We, there are panel discussions, which are populated very often by the producers of the, of the material we love. The writers, the editors, the publishers, the people who make the games, the people who if it's about that, write the music, the people who make the art. These are all part of the experience. We have workshops on making costumes. We have a children's programming, which is mostly focused on arts and crafts. We even have religious services. We have the things that make science fiction interesting to us. And we do so mostly by talking. We have the formal discussions, as I mentioned, the panels. We have readings by the author, by, by the writers. We have coffee clutches where we can discuss things with the writers. And we have the informal discussions, which happen everywhere, in the hallways, in empty conference rooms, in uh, the con suite. The con suite is, a, is what we call the hospitality suite. It can, it can range from snacks and sodas and coffee you know, that sort of thing, which is the sort of thing I tend to run, only mine's kosher, <laughs> uh, to full-blown meals. I've done that too. Not dinner, perhaps, but breakfast and lunch. And what you do is you sit around and you talk. And you, and you, or you go to a room party where you sit around and you talk. We had a room party because we were celebrating our anniversary. And I basically had chips and dips and veggies and um, candy. And, and soda. And it was fine. Mostly we talked. The other things they do is it's, there's gaming. There's always a, it's, you, there's always a gaming room now. Uh, and, or, and often a LARP, a live action role play that may take place over the entire hotel, especially in it's a hotel where we have gotten everything. Um, filking. Filking is the music of the science fiction community. <laughs> Song parodies, mostly about the things that interest science fiction fans, such as space travel. Fairies, cat, monsters, vampires, cats, 
did I mention cats? <laughs> I don't even know. I'm not even a cat person, but and I but cats are there. The TV shows, the books, the uh, movies that we all love. They take place at least as general ones over weekends. You know, Friday night, Saturday, Sunday morning to afternoon. If it's a four day weekend, maybe in, even to the next day. And they take planning, especially for me, because while most people can easily go to restaurants, especially if they have a car available, or order in or whatever, or go with a bunch of other people for meals, we can't. Very few of these uh, conventions are located in areas that are close to kosher restaurants because very few pla- because kosher pla- restaurants don't, don't exist in very many places. Before a convention, I sit down and I plan. This is what I used the last time. What I did is I made two separate lists. First, I planned the party because that's not normal for us. I, what, what snacks you're going to eat, what kind of candy I wanted, what paper goods I needed, etc. And I made a list. I made a shopping list from there. Then the meals. Now, normally, we plan every single meal. You know, breakfast is wasa crackers and cheese and fruit, but we plan that. Plan uh, Shabbat. You know, the, the dinner and lunch and uh, uh, and the small afternoon meal all have to be planned because they all have to be purchased and taken with us. And so I have to make that list. I make a real menu. You know, what we're having Friday night, what we're having Saturday lunch, what we're having Saturday afternoon. Then I may, I may want a meal for on the road. I may want a meal both coming and going. I also might want dinner. I don't know. I have to have these things planned out. And I have to figure out what to take. This time, we, it was made very easy because somebody actually organized and, brought the, and catered both major Shabbos meals. It was wonderful. You know, Chinese food for dinner chicken and cold cuts for lunch and it was perfect so and made my life much easier i only had to worry about breakfast and uh dinner that night before the party peanut butter and jelly sandwiches actually and so on and then were the packing lists now by packing lists i meant well this all the things we need to bring with us aside from the food now we've been doing this forever without lists we just Pack what we think we need in the suitcase, and off we go. And we're just fine. We tend to be overpacking, but we're just fine. This time, and the last few times, and I reinvent the wheel each time, I made a list. I made a list for myself, made a list for my husband. What I needed for Shabbat, I always like to wear two different dresses. I, I like two different dresses. What I need to wear for the non Shabbos time. Underwear, night clothes, meds, book to read books to pray out of, a headscarf, a bag, knitting, whatever little things I need to take, chargers, I put on that list. And I made up a similar list for my husband and put down what I thought he would need. It wasn't perfect and we're adjusting. And he told me a few things that I needed to put down for a future list. But we both consulted these lists as we packed. And therefore, we didn't forget much. We did forget. We forgot the peanut butter and the jelly and the bread we were going to use. And we managed anyway because there was extra bread at the Shabbos lunches. And I went shopping on Saturday night. But the fact remains that we forgot very little and we didn't and we didn't overpack. We had relatively few leftovers even from the party that, that we did have. We donated either to the filk room or the party down the hall, and so we gave them our leftover sugar soda just as they'd run out. I got thanked, as in, thank you, soda fairy. It was so funny. <laughs> it made my life so much easier. It took me 20 minutes, and that's what you do. It Taking those few minutes out of time to plan made for a relaxed an enjoyable convention where we really had everything we needed from sufficient underwear to our meds being put in pouches marked uh, with our initials and whether it was AM or PM, which worked out really well. We didn't forget our meals. It was a wonderful experience. My marriage continues to be a wonderful experience, even though we bickered all the way there because we forgot the bread and the peanut butter and the jelly. Um, 
<laughs> and most of it was calm because I knew what I had and knew what I was going to put out. And everything worked out really, really well. Thank you for listening. Please subscribe if you wish. And um, comment if you wish. And I will see you next time. Thank you.